Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if John Marston goes back to prison after he escapes and once you're in the epilogue or after you beat Red Dead Redemption 2. So I've wanted to try this experiment for a bit because, number one, I found it to be quite interesting and challenging. Remember, John Marston can't swim. And Sisica Penitentiary is an island, so that makes things a little bit challenging. Uh, also, number two, I wanted to see, like, would the guards recognize John? Would the prisoners recognize John that he was still in there with him? So that would be kind of cool, and that was the sort of thing I was looking to try in today's video. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, step one to this is a little bit difficult because you have to either get to the island without touching the water or find yourself a boat. So at first, I was actually just going to use my horse to basically get to the other side of the island. I went to like Copperhead Landing, which is the closest proximity of the mainland to the island. But then I found two guys on a boat and they volunteered to give that to me. So I was able to get onto the boat and you guys can see there. After jumping off of my horse and getting onto the boat, like one second drains all of my energy, like all of my stamina. So that's what made this, again, particularly tough because there's like no margin for error as far as John Marston and swimming and getting to the island. So that makes things particularly difficult. However, with a rowboat, we were able to eventually get to the marshlands of Siska Penitentiary. Now, the first thing I wanted to do while I was here was actually get a legendary fish. You guys might not know that there is a legendary fish actually on the marshlands of this sort of penitentiary, which is really cool. So this is the legendary bullhead catfish, not the channel catfish, the one that no one can catch. This is one that like people can actually catch. Now, if you guys are curious what I use to catch it, I actually use the special river lure. So some people use the swamp one. I use the river one. It worked just fine. And I don't know if I just suddenly turned into a expert fisherman or if this is like the easiest legendary fish in the world to catch. I can only imagine it's the second thing, not the first thing. But I literally threw my rod into the line and the first fish I hooked happened to be this legendary catfish. You guys can see there, six pounds, two ounces. And uh, that's it. Like, that's one of the legendary fish. It was so easy. I don't think I'll ever catch a legendary fish as easy as that. So this is another reason why you should eventually go back to the prison. Because if you want to catch all the legendary fish, well, you're going to have to anyways. So you might as well kill two birds with one stone. And that's exactly what I did uh, on this trip right here. So that's the first thing I did is be pretty productive and catch a legendary catfish. So the next thing you might notice is the entire island is a restricted area. You can't just like wander around here on your own. Now, you can wander around without getting caught by the lawmen though. They don't sort of patrol the outside marshlands of the penitentiary. It's only when you get close to the inland will they start to get fussy and upset with you. In fact, they won't even shoot you on sight. They'll sort of give you a warning to get lost and get as far away as possible. So if you're worried about catching the fish and you don't want to interact with the lawman, it's okay. Even if they do spot you, you'll sort of get the chance to run away before things turn pretty bad. However, things will begin to turn south pretty quickly if you do not run away. You will start to get wanted a ton of on this island so that's something to keep in mind now as i was approaching the main bridge i saw something pretty cool i saw some of the prisoners working out into the field now the first thing i tried to do was actually interact with them so i like hold, held down the left trigger but i wasn't able to talk to them so i guess you can't talk to any of the prisoners it's unlikely that they would remember you anyways because Especially since we're playing as John Marston and he was in there in 1899. Like, it's been eight years. If a prisoner has been in there for eight years, you can almost guarantee you that they won't remember John Marston. We don't know how long he was in there. We know he was in there from, like, the middle of Chapter 4 to when they went to Guarma. So, I would assume it was a couple of weeks at a minimum, maybe a couple of months at the maximum. 
So he was in there for a good bit, but certainly not like an eternity like a year. Now, what I was trying to do next was make my way to the main gates of the prison, and I was trying to sneak my way in. This was becoming increasingly difficult because there are just so many lawmen here. It really is tough to navigate yourself around without getting caught. And I thought I was going to be smart here and go through sort of the swamp underneath the bridge, but I forgot John Marston can't swim. So I got about halfway through the bridge and John Marston started drowning. I told you, it's another challenge to coming back to the prison as John because even parts like this, shallow water, he can't swim. And that almost killed me there pretty instantly. So eventually I was able to get on sort of the mainland where the gate was. And again, these lawmen are not too happy about me returning to this area. They sort of give you a slight warning before they immediately start shooting at you. Now, another thing to keep in mind here, if you do try this for yourself and you interact with the lawmen, you are going to lose a lot of honor. I don't know if it's specifically with the guards on Sisica Penitentiary or if it's because you're just killing a lot of lawmen, but you lose honor so fast while doing this. So I would recommend that you save before going to the penitentiary or you just, you know, don't save at all and you just lose all of your progress if this is something you just want to try once. But again, if you're going for that fish, you, you might want to save right after you catch it and then you can do all of these actions without it impacting your honor because I think I lost like two or three honor levels here and I was only on the island for like 15 or 20 minutes. So not even that long of a time, my honor dropped so much. So the next thing I wanted to do after that was trying to explore some of the other buildings on the island. There's like a lot of little houses and barns and shacks. And unfortunately, at least all of the ones that I ran across, I was unable to get inside. So they are completely locked. And I forgot to bring my lantern with me. Not that I would probably be able to do a you know, a glitch to get inside. And there's likely not an interior in there anyways, but there's just so much chaos going on on this island that it really does make it nearly impossible in order to try and do something like this. Now, I guess if you want, one of the things you can get off of the guards is actually their hats. I don't know if you can save the hats because it didn't like show up when I put it on my head, but it's this kind of interesting like prison guard looking hat. So you can grab one of those if you want, like I said, there's an endless amount of guards, so you should have no trouble uh, getting one of those. Now, after that, I returned to the main gate of the prison to see if we could actually get inside. The answer is, of course, no. They don't just have the gates wide open for anyone to come inside. Now, if you guys are curious on how you can get inside of the Sisica Penitentiary, it is a little bit of a challenging process. I'll leave a link to a video I did about a month or two ago in the description so if you want to check that out for yourself you can but long story short there's no way to get inside of the actual jail unless you do some like crazy glitches rockstar made that very tough but it is cool once you get inside there's like a full-blown interior there's lots of stuff inside to check out so if you have the time and are interested i i definitely would recommend it because it is super cool now i was a little bit disappointed that none of the prison guards were like hey that's john marston we need to you know get him back in jail or that the main guy of the prison i think his name was like jameson or something like that who also runs like the annisburg mine that he wasn't there or that he didn't say anything that would have been a really cool detail from rockstar but there was nothing like that and there also doesn't seem to be any changes to the Sisica Penitentiary from 1899 to 1907, which I didn't really expect that to be the case either, but you never know. Maybe they would have made it bigger or taller or added more you know, storage or jail cells or whatever the case is. But uh, it remains the same from when you play as Arthur Morgan to when you can play as John Marston. And then probably the hardest part of this entire thing is trying to figure out your escape. You kind of have to get lucky and have like a boat get really close to the shore or you have to get your horse on the island too otherwise you're kind of stuck on here because again john marston cannot swim and there's no way he's making it back to shore so that's sort of a logistical problem that you're gonna have to figure out on your own again that's why i recommend saving in case you just don't want to have to deal with that headache at all 
But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. That is what happens if John Marston decides to return to prison in Red Dead Redemption 2 after getting out and after escaping when Arthur and Sadie ultimately break him free. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, have you tried this for yourself? Did you notice anything that I did not in this video today? If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.